hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Katrina I am Cat and Moon Budgets and in this video we are just going to be going over my budget with me and my expense update um, I'm just gonna kind of combine them because they're both kind of short um, I already went ahead and did my budget with me worksheets so they were done ahead of time and then I can just pull, fill in the actual amounts um, my kids are home still. It's before school time, so they're in the living room making a crap ton of noise. So if you hear that, enjoy. They're, they think they're funny. I don't think it's funny, but you know. My plan for my HERF grant that I got that was supposed to compensate me for my text. Um, the original plan was to put 100 in the Oshitaki fund, 100 in car, and then pay off the credit card I used to get my textbooks, just replenishing what I took out. Um, so on the 27th, which is this Friday, I will get to, I was supposed to get $290 from Zeal. I'm anticipating the actual amount to be 230 because I had to leave work for a family issue with my kids. And then the grant's 500 So I changed the amount to 790 We're just sticking with the budgeting amounts until I get my paycheck on Friday or my payroll gets updated on Wednesday and I know how much my check is because I get my, know how much it is two days in advance. Um, so then we're just going to do Alliant, um, VidIQ for my videos is 10, Rent 134, Prime 702, my Apple Music is $7, and then I included in pink the grants on here, so paying off the Indigo card, which is 300 I had gas estimated at $40, um, I do still have $60 that I haven't used yet out of my last paycheck from my county job. I had gotten that one. Um, I was going to put 38 in Oshitaki and then from the grant money we were going to do 100 in a business just so I can kind of build that up so I can like do I call them experiments because I would love to be able to send out like envelopes that are laminated like themed and launch them and do trackers with them. Um kind of like how I see Sav Saves do, but I'm having issues with getting the um, envelopes to open correctly because I see people putting the lamination like sticky side out, so sticky and glossy side in to make the envelope open and be shiny on the inside so it's not just the paper. Well, I can't get it to cut open right no matter how many times I try, like it always peels apart off the outside of the envelope. And so I have to really like practice with my scrap paper and making little teeny tiny envelopes with my scrap laminating sheets that I save. So we got that. I'm going to put 50 into car and 50 into Oshitaki because I have other ways to replenish it. And then like this week I'm doing DoorDash. I'm doing an hour today before class and then I'm doing four hours tomorrow and on to Wednesday. So I will have that coming as well um, next week. And then this is my long week with my agency job. So I will be getting a bigger paycheck from them next week too. So like I have ways to replenish it. And then I had 98 cents left over from my paycheck. And so I just put that into my cushion because I needed somewhere for it to go. I'm probably forgetting something, but this is just a brief breakdown. So I highlighted where we left off. So we're going to start on the 12th and then go until the 20th. So it's eight days roughly, but we're going to leave the 21st until whatever. Do it that way. Um, so I remember saying I was off balance by 478 because I round my purchases. So like my bank account had more money than my ledger said and I forgot that. So I balanced it out. Um, Target, I got kitchen storage, which was miscellaneous category for $19. I was trying to get, like, countertop storage to store, like, pill bottles or, um, like, my food scale and stuff on there. I don't like the way my kitchen counters look still, but it is what it is. And then I bought the wrong thing. I bought, um, pot storage instead of, like, the Tupperware lid storage. So I'm dealing with that. I didn't return it and get my money back because I didn't find it worth it. Um, and then Sally's came out of my beauty envelope. I bought 
two colored dyes because I mix them to get the right color. A 20 developer, so it brightens my hair a little bit. That was 38.23. I hadn't done my hair in like six months, aside from like a five dollar toner. So that's why I have the beauty envelope. Um, and then, oh, I gotta put that back in. So I actually have more than this. Okay, so I have to add that back in. But um, on the 15th, I used the PayPal for installment payments to get a desk that was $60 off. So it was like a $150 desk that I got for 80 bucks. Um, I need a desk. This black makeshift table just isn't working. And then the desk that I had had like a cubicle, like a four cubby storage that um, can move out to the sides. So like it can move out to the side so it goes this way or it can be in line with the desk this way. And I want that to put my printer on. Um, so that way it just fits nicely in this corner. And then I actually have a desk and then I'll add like a drawer to it later. Um, and then I got Amazon. I purchased magnesium oil spray um, just to help with like my aches and pains because my doctor wanted me to start taking magnesium and I found that magnesium oil spray is more bioavailable in the body. Um, it just soaks in better and then it doesn't have to process through your liver like a supplement does. And then I got a binder kit, which was this cute glitter binder because I needed another one for like my personal things because I gave the kids their own binder. So that was 10.54. Um, the 16th was Walmart. I had to get food and storage, which I messed up. I forgot. I did not scan my food card. So I had to pay for it on my debit card. And then I got household I listed separately, but it was all in the same trip. Um, the storage was just these like little, I'd gotten this little storage, three drawer one, and then I had one that I put paper in just to kind of organize things a little bit better. And then the 17th, I had my DoorDash income deposited from that run. Um... And then I deposited sinking funds from my Oshitaki fund for my books. And then again, I transferred cash from my car maintenance to help pay for my books. So my semester books that came out of my checking account after my two credit cards, it was $394.65, which is a lot. And then I bought dryer balls because I needed dryer sheets. I ran out and I forgot them in my last trip. And then I found these like silicone dryer balls that have like knobs on them and they're supposed to like soften the fabric and take the static out and they actually do work. So it was a two pack for $3.14. Okay, I had to go turn off my timer because I was baking an oatmeal breakfast bake thing. Um, so then Microsoft, my um, office subscription came out because um, I pause it when I don't need it. Like during the summertime when school's not in session, I pause that. Um, and then I got my Rock Haven paycheck. That was six ninety eight oh two, which was more than I was expecting. And then I took out a hundred ten cash because I needed. Um, I took out bowling money for the boys, and then I also needed um, bill swaps. So I got bigger bills to do my bill condensing video. Um, Walmart. This one was just to go get the medical thing and then I found the colored paper and then my son wanted markers that day so I got him some markers because I don't really have art supplies um so that was a big expense more than I wanted but I still like accounted for it on my budget sheet I transferred seventy dollars to or I transferred seventy dollars from my utility savings account because I had to pay my water bill and so it was one sixty three twenty five for three months, which is really bad because this is only a two bedroom, one bath apartment. We just use a lot of water because my washer is really small and it's not energy efficient. Um, EA Arts, I decided to cancel the Game Pass because we don't really use Xbox Live. And so I just paid the yearly subscription for my Sims game. That way I don't have to worry about it. Um, I paid my cell phone bill on Thursday as well because that's when my paycheck hit. Um, so that was one twenty-seven eighty. Allstate was my renter's insurance. I paid twenty out of my bank account because I'm trying to save up the rest of the installment 
and everything to pay it all in once so then I'm done paying for it monthly until January again. So then I transferred 132 to rent for rent so that way I don't spend it. And then I got breakfast at Quick Trip one morning um, in Stoughton for 9.08. So you see the desk installment again. Um, that one ended up not going through because I didn't realize the purchase didn't go through because I wasn't sure so I didn't do it again until it never processed all the way. So here it is again. I got to add it back in though like the 2250 from way up top. And then on the 20th we went to McDonald's because I promised my son that we could do the play land thingy that they have there so for three people it was $19 I rounded it up to 19 um do not get the smoky baking quarter pounder that was absolutely disgusting the smoky flavor was just really really gross like I forced myself to eat it just because it was a $10 meal basically um but um this one is Etsy I bought an invitation for my son because I didn't feel like making one when I could just spend $3 to buy one. And then I bought a badge holder um, for when, while I'm a CNA because I don't know how much longer I'm a CNA, but then I can just send it back and they'll give me an LPN one. Um, and then if I still continue to work as a CNA like somewhere, I can do that too. Um, I made an Etsy listing for my gnome placeholders which we're gonna use this as a plug. I just made these like super simple gnome placeholders. I laminated them, which I'm not going to. I'm gonna reprint them and not laminate them because they don't fit inside my zipper envelopes very well when they're laminated. Um, but yeah, I just made like really cute gnome designs in themes. So these are on my Etsy shop now. Just super cute, super simple gnome placeholders. So that way when I do my bill swaps, when I have only smaller bills to deposit to the bank, I can just grab the bigger ones of those and I don't have to worry about using real money. Um, so then the $30 that was in my G-Bucks as play, um, for the condensing, I put that in my household envelope because I still need some stuff and that'll fill my household budget. Um, and then Kryptonite, we went to Kryptonite yesterday. Um, and I needed a different case for my deck because it wasn't fitting in the other one. I don't know why it wasn't. And then I bought a pack of cards, so that was fifteen eighty. The boys wanted to look for a Pokemon ball too, but they didn't have it anymore. So I told them that they'll have to save up for something else, which I'm going to make a short on their new little budget binders that we made them because they made their own placeholders too. And then I didn't realize my card didn't go through because I used my credit card for my book so then it declined my sale samurai subscription um so that was ten dollars because that's how I do my Etsy listings and like my research and stuff on products which so far that method has not been helping so I don't know but that's what people who have Etsy shops really recommend doing um so that's all I have for you guys in this video and then um I don't I think I have a video scheduled to post on Friday already, so then this one will go up on Wednesday. So I hope you guys have a really great time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so sorry for the kids yelling in the background, but um, I'm going to end this here, and you guys have a great week. Bye.